Joe Biden recently said that the government is ready and his administration for the next pandemic. I scratched my head because I thought, is he saying they already have a vaccine? I mean, that's not really possible. And then it's hard to fear because, you know, we're told that a pandemic only comes around about every hundred years. Then I thought, well, no, because now they come from labs. They're man-made. So, hey, we can have one every year. So I guess it's good that we have some type of preparation. Now, I'm afraid his definition of preparation is just the fascist crap they put us through and shutting everything down during COVID. So, hey, it's going to be a great time. But I want to ask to me an even more important question. I want you to seriously think about this. Glad they're prepared for the next pandemic. But are they prepared for the hurricane season that we are entering right now? I don't know if you realize this or not, but gas prices are already at about $5 a gallon. Joe Biden has already attacked or he's dove into the strategic oil reserve to supposedly help us out. But listen, do you realize that half of the oil refined in this country is done on the shores of the Gulf of Mexico, mainly in Louisiana and Houston? And when those hurricanes come in and this is the season, it can knock those refineries offline. Can you imagine how high gas prices can go in the months ahead if the hurricane season is one of those that's really active? And of course, if we trust and believe that great prophet Al Gore, you know, he predicted Back in 2007, in his book and movie, Inconvenient Truth, aptly named, he said that every year we're going to see a larger number of hurricanes and even more powerful, more damage. So what's going to happen when some of these refineries are knocked offline? Hurricane Harvey came through in 2017, hit mainly Houston, Texas, and shut down the largest refinery in America for a period of time. How high can the prices go? Now, I want to be clear, the bureaucrats in Washington, all those federal agencies that rule our government, they're the ones behind climate change policy. It is their agenda. They don't care. I have no doubt about that. They are happy. The higher the prices, the better. I really believe that. The Biden administration has a touch of politics involved, and so they may not be as on board as the bureaucrats, but the Democrats are certainly more in line with the climate change policy of the bureaucrats than anybody else. And so they're not ready for this. There's been no thought, I'm sure, of this hurricane season. Probably just if it happens, oh well. For you and me, we have no choice. We will just have to pay higher prices. And it's tragic. What can we do? Absolutely nothing. We'll just have to pay. When we vote, though, there is something there that we can do. And I hope that you will find out where people stand on climate change policy. Not the science. We all agree on the climate change science. The problem is the policy that's been written up and ready to be enforced by the bureaucrats. It has to be stopped. We can deal with the science, but the policy will crush us economically.